Hey everyone, welcome to The Dish. I'm your host, Anna Christina. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm excited because it's first Friday. You know what that means, Mr. John Holden. That's right, pop me up on the two shot. Greatly That's appreciate right. it. Thank you. Perfect Evan. timing. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Evan. Well, listen, I'm so excited too because summertime is here. We're mm -hmm. kicking off June. Lots of things happening. Kids are out of school. It's going to be some good time. Definitely. Uh, time to cut the grass, fellas. Oh, That's gosh, I know. Lots of grass cutting. But, hey, before we talk about summer, I know it's been a couple of weeks that the royal wedding, you know, has passed and, mm -hmm. and everything, but I have to go on the record because so many people had their opinions about the royal wedding. Of course. What, what is yours? Honestly, I saw it. What I did thought you think? It, I thought it was a great event. I thought she right. looked good. I thought it went off without a hitch. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I thought and it was a good event. history in the it. making. An American woman mm -hmm. married into the royal family. And I, I got to talk about her mm -hmm. because when I first saw her come out of that car, I, I couldn't wait for that moment. And I was just so in awe and I was stunned by her. She looked good. She looked amazing. And then I went on to social media, and I have to admit, because I started seeing all these negative opinions that people oh. were posting, oh. and it made me second guess. I was like, wait, I, I didn't even notice some of these things that they were talking about. And ah. it kind of, you know, it, it kind of touched me deeply in a way because I thought, wow, social media is so powerful, and it can be very dangerous. It's very good, but it can also be very dangerous because you have young minds looking at all of this information that's mm -hmm. going out. And if I was at a point where m almost my opinion was being changed and transformed, I can't imagine. Well, I what message are we sending? Well, this is the thing. To some degrees, there's a sheep mentality sometimes. Mm -hmm. Somebody will say something bad and negative, everybody jumps on the bandwagon right. without having any information and just riding along with it because yeah. it sounds fun. Right. You know, and that's one of the And so I have to media. admit that, but it also makes me come to the point that, you know what, let's set the standard for the people that are, you know, jumping on social media that do have these young minds that are vulnerable, um, that are impressionable, because she looked absolutely stunning. And I don't want anybody to take that away from her because she, I mean, it was her wedding day and she yeah. may not have done things. I mean, I love makeup. And I, may, I personally wore more makeup at my wedding. <laughs> but if you can get away with looking like that, you know, yeah. go on, girl. Yeah, definitely. You know well, I thought saying? she looked okay at it. Honestly, the makeup thing, I didn't even see it. I just saw a pretty young lady right. about to get married. Right. Very excited. Her mother was excited for her. Yeah. I mean, it was just a it great It was just event. a beautiful thing to see. Yeah. Her dress, phenomenal. I don't care whether or not you think it didn't fit her. I thought it was great on her. So I just had to go on the record. Train and say was that. awesome. It was super long. Right? I was like, okay, well, go ahead. the veil. Oh my gosh, and that crown. Queen Mary, I think it belonged to. Mm -hmm. She just looked gorgeous. But anyways, I had to put that out there. Okay. Thanks for playing. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of playing, we're gonna play a little summer fun fact trivia. Are uh, you ready for this, Holden? Not really, because we didn't discuss this. Well, this sure. time, <laughs> I know we didn't All discuss right. it. Go ahead. On the I'm spot. ready. But listen, I'm giving you some multiple choice, so it's okay. okay. So what is the best summer treat? Slash fruit, watermelon, pomegranate, oranges, or peaches. And I have the highlighted messages uh, right here. I so would you're say, cheating. let me go with peaches because we're in Georgia. Peaches? I'm no. Just say peaches. It's watermelon. Sorry about it. I love watermelon. Ooh, with some chili powder on it. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so anyways, the month of July, <laughs> you're like, uh, what? The month of July is the national month for what? Grapes, chocolate, ice cream, or apple pie? Ooh. Apple pie all day. Dude, you're terrible at this. We're never going to play no? a trivia game anyways. It's ice cream. It's July. Oh, okay. Ice cream. Well, yeah, we June, can go with that. We'll see I mean. ice cream and apple pie. This month, the months of June and July were named after whom? Mark Anthony and Cleopatra, the Greek goddess of Juno and Julius Caesar, or Achilles and the Greek goddess Athena? Achilles and Athena. I mean, how do you get that wrong? Juno, June. Julius, July. You need to get something else in there. Anyways, let's move on. So okay. you're not good at this. So what are you doing for summer? Uh, Kids are out. What did you do as a kid? Honestly, back in the day, used mm -hmm. to play all day. But if you notice now in the summertime, most of the kids are inside. They're on that social media. That's right, playing the video games. Right. But I will say this, though. This summertime, mm -hmm. it's time to get it together. That's mean, that means some push-ups. Okay. Some sit-ups. Yeah. Some crunches. You're going to be showing off that bot hole then? <laughs> What? The butt. I'm working on the butt. Oh, really, that's no. what I'm really trying to work on. Some leg on. lifts, some mm -hmm. bicycle riding. A little bit of that. Now, speaking of bicycle riding, I love to go bicycle riding, but the bigger thing was rollerblading. Uh, Did you ever take part in that? In the 80s. In the 80s. Mm -hmm. Well, I was born she in the 80s. Drew a so blank. I came out of the, 
I came out just rollerblading. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will say this. I was more like a skateboard kid. Okay. You know, did Were that. you good at it? Yeah, love oh, it. I can I still would, skate the I back. would be terrible. Listen, but there are so many fun things to do. So kids, get out, play, enjoy the weather, get off the phone. Yeah, hang out with it your be family. Dangerous, you know, <laughs> as we've discovered. and get on your skateboard. Maybe or rollerblades, whatever. One of those. All right, well, listen, speaking of things to do, when we come back, we're mm -hmm. going to be discussing Community Connection events, so we'll have that for you. Plus, we're picking our birthday winner. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't miss it. It's we'll be right back. Do you know someone or something you'd like to see featured on The Dish? Go to thedishon6.com to submit your information by clicking on the Community Connection button. Also, tune in every Friday at 1230 for The Dish on all things local on WJBF News Channel 6. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dish. It's Anna and Holden. That's right, and I'm happy to be here. We're having nothing but a good time. It's right. all about First Friday. Right, and, and it's hey, summertime. really quickly, because we talked about the royal wedding, mm -hmm. and I, I know, listen, it's been a couple of weeks already, yeah. but I wanted to give out my name because I thought this was a fun game. You take lady or lord, if mm -hmm. you're a boy or girl, you take your grandma's on your mom's side's first name, your first animal, and the first street that you grew up on, my name would be Lady Diamantina Patches of Eaton. Perfect. And we did yours. Do you want me to read yours? Yeah, sure. Cause Lord Elliot Bob of Pinnacle Place. That's right. Ooh, Pinnacle sounds Place. Sounds fancy and royal. It's Anyways, right out there in Hepzibah. I know you want to know what's going on in the community, so I'm going to kick things off. Mm -hmm. Broadway Baptist Church is having Plus Night, and All this right. is happening tomorrow, June 2nd. Doors open at 5:30. The event starts at 6. It's at Broadway Baptist Church. It's going to be an evening of entertainment um, and praise and worship. Awesome guest singers and Instagram star Carlton Banks will be offering his unique brand of Christian Carlton comedy. Banks. So don't miss that. Tickets are $15. It's go. the dance. Okay. $15 and you can get them at the door. All right. Also, you don't want to miss the Mud Bugaboo. It's yes. going to be on. You said it right. Mud Bugaboo. I was working on it. <laughs> I was working on it during the break. But listen, that's going to be on June the 3rd at the Augusta Commons um, from 5 to 6. Be out there because there's going to be music. <clears throat> More water. Okay, but to cap it off, listen, definitely nothing but live music. And if you need tickets, go to eventbreak.com. That's right. And also, Pig Out in the Park, hosted by Augusta, Georgia government. It's Saturday, June 9th from 11 to 6, mm. out at the Augusta Common as well. There's going to be a kid barbecue competition, so amateur mm. competition, That's right. sponsored by Fireside Outdoor Kitchens. And then, of course, you're going to have lots of bands. Cricket Ridge, Brooks Hubbard, Bethany and the Southside Boys. You've seen him on The Dish. Mm -hmm. And so for tickets on that, you can go to pigoutinthepark.org. All right. And also, you know, it's the amazing day. It's a special day. It's, it's Father's, Father's day. day. That's right. You know, that's June the 17th. So all the fathers get out there. Make sure you get your gifts, hang out with your kids, <laughs> and just enjoy that day. I thought you said you don't like getting gifts. On Father's Day. On no, Father's I need, Day, I need to yes. Get a gift. Don't forget your gifts for your dads. Um, well, now it's time to choose our birthday winner. Ready? Oh, yes. Happy birthday to who? Find out if it's you. I'm there. You're almost there. I'm it's there. It's only been like a year and a half. Yeah, I'm working on it still. <laughs> who is All right. Drum roll. Okay, let's see. Uh, Norma Wills. Norma Turn Wills. 74. <gasps> Turning 74. Happy 74th birthday, Norma. And you know what? I also have to give out a shout out to my son because it's his birthday tomorrow he's turning two amazing two Can you years believe already that? i have a two-year-old whoa that's right tom I mean, flies you have a couple kids too yes well. i do and they're grown and big they're and, grown and, and big. expensive <laughs> so we won't talk about that because we don't want to give away your age right mm -mm. doesn't he look so young 45 back feels it every day <laughs> it does. do you have any remedies for that mm. Mm -mm, nothing. Just work through it. Work through the pain. The really? knees. Work through it. Oh, That's gosh. all it's about. Mm. Well, listen, again, congratulations to Norma, or Norma Mills turning 74. And uh, hey, if you have a birthday, go to thedishon6.com, enter your birthday. You can win one of these cute dish mugs or a get hug. a big hug from Holden. That's right. Come I don't in. Know. You're getting free hugs. Are you really, though? Don't say that because there'll be people lining up out the door we'll waiting see. for you. We'll see. That we'll could see. be scary. 
<laughs> All right, guys, do not go anywhere. When we come back, we're sitting down with the injury ladies. Obviously, lots of traveling uh -huh. coming up, and so we want to be sure that you stay prepared, cautious, and aware.